Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the lead time. Spring's coming, uh, flowers are blooming. It's the best season of the year to prepare your distillation. And you can make a hydrosol and even essential oil. Rose water is the most popular floral water or hydrosol. And it's uh, because of its uh, special scent and a fragrance that's uh, so welcome and uh, also have a great benefit on our skin. And we all know rose water is normally made from the fresh rose. But the question is, can we make uh, rose water from a dry rose? Mm, short answer is yes, but you have to be careful and there are a few steps you have to take in order to make sure you will get a good quality rose water. In this video, I will demonstrate you how to make a rose water from the dry rose. In this channel, I have uh, showing you uh, many videos on making a different hydrosol from uh, different herbs. And most of them I'm using the dry herbs. The reason is dry herb is uh, so easy to uh, obtain and uh, it's a uh, lower cost compared with the fresh one, especially in the off season. For example, like uh, the rose, today we are talking about this. Rose bloom in the late spring, summer, and early uh, fall. So, but we want to use it in the winter or early spring, but we don't have the fresh rose. There will be a certain area, not in my area, in certain uh, tropical area, they can have the all year round uh, fresh rose. But the other areas, they don't have the luxury. So the question is, uh, we know we can make a very good quality for example, the lavender hydrosol, oregano hydrosol, rosemary hydrosol from the dry herbs. So can we make a, a good hydrosol like other hydrosols made from a dry rose? What is the difference between the hydrosols made from a dry rose and a fresh rose? Research measures the chemical composition of the hydrosols made from a dry rose and a fresh rose. They found that they have a similar chemical composition, but the major difference is the hydrosol made from the dry rose has a major compound is uh, 2-phenylacinol. It's also called a 2-PE. Phenylacinol is the chemical, it brings the simple aroma of the rose and it's a popularly used in the food industry, drink, cosmetics to bring this uh, beautiful, comfortable rose flavor. And the two phenylacinol are made in two different ways. The one way is the natural. It can be separated from the rose or other herbs extract. And the second way is uh, artificial. It can be just uh, synthesized, the price has huge difference. The synthesized uh, phenylacinol, the price can be as low as uh, ten dollar U.S. dollar per kilogram, and the natural one can be as high as one thousand dollar per kilogram. You see, there are hundred times the difference. Um, reason it's if you you may think about like a diamond. The natural diamond, the price is a super, super high compared with the artificial diamond. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the hydrosol by using the dry rolls. And there are special steps we have to take before we start the distillation. There are two types of uh, dry rose. One is like this. Uh, this is the flower I use uh, today's distillation. It's a whole rose, it's not like a fully uh, blossom. They dry it before the blossom. And the other one is a petal. 
um, both of them has a very good scent very good rose scent actually both of them I purchased them almost four years ago is a still have a very good uh, scent and um, pretty good um, so the first step very important is soak them in the water for overnight before the distillation that step is very important so the soaking can help open the petals and let them get ready for the distillation so the scent chemicals can be released not like locked in the dry petal this is a flower I soak uh, for whole night um, for better soaking I put uh, this uh, sieve plate on top of the flower so it can push them down into the water uh, as you can see I'm using the dry the whole flower and you can also use the dry the petal um, the ratio as I said is uh, um, 15 times of the dry flower that's the water we use uh, for this one I have a 100 gram flour and a 1.5 liter the water now I'm going to uh, separate the water with the flour I'm going to use the press So today I'm using KD5, the hydrosol distiller, uh, to make a rose water from the dry flower. After separate the soaked uh, uh, rose, the, the water, and just pour it in the pot. And then just add the flour into the uh, steamer. So the steamer has uh, two sieve play, one at the bottom and one put on the top of the flour and then just add the flour into the steamer. The rose water is very good, I like it. Uh, the other trick uh, I want to show you when you make a rose water especially, let it age. Let it age for a few days before you use it. So after distillation, the chemicals can go back to its original blend. It can help uh, improve the fragrance. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.